Ja, hallo und somit herzlich willkommen zurück bei Beyond Two Souls. Es gibt noch ein paar kleine Bonusinhalte, die ich euch nicht vorenthalten möchte. Wir haben ja in ein paar Kapiteln ein paar Bonus gesammelt. Wahrscheinlich habe ich das meiste übersehen, was mir wirklich sehr leid tut. Aber ich würde, ich, ich würde sagen, wir schauen uns das mal an. Design Paket 1, Forscher Beyond Two Souls. Design Paket 2. Okay, da haben wir schon zwei Sachen übersehen. Art of Beyond Two Souls, Embassy. Scheint wohl so wie Artworks zu sein. Wie verschiedene Kapitel aussehen sollten. Oder was man sich darunter vorgestellt hat. Sieht zumindest wirklich sehr ähm, detailgetreu aus. Die Party. Happy Birthday, Brenda. Das muss auch wirklich immer eine riesige Arbeit sein, so Kapitel für Spiele zu entwickeln, zu zeichnen, alles zu modellieren. Kirsten, Emma, Chen, Matt, Steven. Da hätten wir ja fast das Haus abgefackelt, wenn ich mich noch richtig entsinne. Das Casting. Heavy Rain, the Casting. Technical Demo of a Virtual Actor on PlayStation 3. Hört sich jetzt interessant an. Go ahead, take a seat. Can you give me your name and your age, please? My name is Mary Smith. I'm 24. Have you ever taken any acting lessons, Mary? Not really. I couldn't afford it, but I watch a lot of films, and I learn so much by watching them. Have you shot anything recently? I've had a few bit parts, little things here and there. Nothing very serious for the moment. I'm always too tall, too short, wrong hair. <laughs> There's always something wrong with me. <laughs> okay. Have you learned your lines? Yes. Let's get started. Mark it, please. Casting heavy rain, actress Mary Smith, take one. And action. The first time I saw you, I knew you were the one. I thought these things only happened in the movies, you know? The pounding heart, the sweaty hands, and the shaky legs. <laughs> I was coming out of the theater. And it started pouring heavy rain, so there I was, soaking wet, teeth chattering, freezing cold, and then you came up to me. You looked at me straight in the eyes and you said, need an umbrella, miss? You sent me flowers for weeks and you said you'd love me forever. Three months later, we were getting married. God, it sounds so stupid. It's such a corny romance. But real life, It never ends up being what you think it's going to be. You think it's going to be one big happy fairy tale. And then one day you wake up in an average little house leading an average little life. And your real dreams are about paying the bills and maybe someday getting a bigger TV. And you realize that maybe that wasn't the life you were dreaming of. You realize maybe things could have been different. And maybe I actually could have lived with all of that, but then one day it all just stopped. Starts with something small. A little lipstick on a collar, a few nights when you come home a bit late. At first I tell myself that I'm crazy, that you would never do such a thing. But just to ease my mind, one night I follow you as you leave the office. I follow you to the CD hotel where you meet the girl. And then my whole world falls apart. I come home and I cry for hours in my kitchen. 
I get the gun from the drawer in the bedroom, and I tell myself that if this is all that life has to offer me, then I can do without. But then I change my mind. After all, I'm not the one who's cheating. So, quietly, I wait for you to come home, sitting in my average little kitchen. Obviously, when you get home, you don't suspect a thing. So I press the fucking gun against your forehead, and I take a few seconds to watch the fear grow in your eyes. You tell yourself, she won't do it. She doesn't have the guts. She's just trying to teach me a lesson. But you are so wrong, honey. I sentence you to death for turning my life into a soap opera cliche. For stepping on my dreams, for not giving a shit about me all those years, and for lying to me, and betraying me, and humiliating me. I'm making an example out of you for all the assholes out there who think they can keep on fucking us over and over. Goodbye, my love. So, how was it? Uh, very nice, very nice. You think I might stand a chance? <laughs> Someone would get in touch with you and let you know. She wasn't too bad, huh? Doesn't matter, she's too tall for the part. Next! Really? Holy shit. <laughs> Was für ein Casting. Sie war richtig gut, aber sie ist zu groß. Wie mies. Alter, ich habe mega viel verpasst. Das Gameplay von Beyond Two Souls. The making of Beyond Two Souls. The gameplay. Quantum Tech Dream has always been about creating interactive experiences that have emotion at their core. It's about telling the story of characters and giving the player the possibility through their actions to change the way the story unfolds. When I write my script, I have an idea of how I want the story to be played. So we try to render David's idea into a game and see with him if it matches what he had in mind. In case it doesn't, we go back to the writing stage and keep working until the result perfectly matches David's vision. What we try to do in Beyond is really an intuitive and immersive experience. So we created a very discreet user interface with only white dots on screen and very simple controls. We wanted to revisit the action system and go for something that would be more invisible and more intuitive to the player. We didn't want the interface to be a barrier. We wanted the player to focus on what he's doing on screen and not on how to do it. Ideally, the player will forget that he has a controller in his hand and will just jump into the screen. One of the major revolutions in Beyond is the way Jody Holmes moves. Depending on the context, depending on your emotional state, you see the character of Jody moving differently, walking differently, looking around differently. And most importantly, to give the player the feeling he's really in control of the character, he can do almost anything he wants to do. She can talk to other people, interact with objects, and also run, jump, shoot, drive a motorcycle, or even ride a horse. What was really challenging also is that the story goes on for 15 years of Jodie's life. When Jodie's a kid, for instance, you can do different things than when she is a teenager or an adult. Giving this much animation to a character, it's really new. It has never been done to that extent, and it really makes the character come alive like never before. We wanted to have these new mechanics with Aiden. I wanted to give this feeling of flying around and going through matter and through walls. So we started making some research on how a ghost would move or even a fish would swim underwater. We thought that using orbs is an interesting approach. It would give us this physicality that we need to interact with matter. It became really something natural to assign them to the two analog sticks and have to play with them to focus them or on the opposite to split them apart. During the process of this production, we made what we call user tests. You just 
watch people playing and you see where they succeed, where they fail. If a player don't get it right, it's only our fault. So we work very hard to be able to correct it and give the best experience possible. After each user test, it's meeting after meeting just to find a good solution to every single issue the player may have had. I guess what we're looking for with the gameplay is really to find an interface that will allow you to play live. And we try to, to get closer and closer of the ideal interface where you don't think anymore, you just do it. Quantic Dream. Schön. Solche making offs sind einfach nice anzusehen. Manchmal wünsche ich mir auch ein Teil von solch einem riesigen Projekt zu sein, da mich das Ganze wirklich sehr interessiert. Aber ich glaube, es ist recht schwierig, dort in diese Branche hineinzukommen und Fuß zu fassen. Und was man auch wieder hier sieht bei diesem Making of, die Spiele von Quantic Dream sind wirklich einfach wie ein interaktiver Film aufgebaut. Das ist einfach ein cooles Spielerlebnis -Erle ist. Dragon's Hideout. Und das war dann also schon in der CS im CSI Hauptquartier. Die ganze Winterszene in der Arktis. Wahrscheinlich war es so nicht die Arktis, aber ist ja egal. Das sieht halt schon echt nice aus. Das könnte jetzt gerade auch so gut in einem Raumschiff sein. Mit der Kluft unter Wasser. Was für ein Bild. Orion Clayton. Commando. Und diese ganzen Details an den Anzügen. Jody Scap Handrew. Wow. Jody Captured. Mit der Schusswunde. Wow. The Dark Sword. Carrier. The following footage is a prototype running in the real. Das, das, das kann man gar nicht lesen so schnell. Seven seals of the war, and the talismans of Rastadam. I am but you, Rastalor, that lord of the lost temples. By the sacred power of the Emperor. 
ancient gods, by all the spirit servants of Asmodan, by all the sacred parchments of Pastor, 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 oh, shit! I can never get that last one right. Pastor Malavi. I, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. I knew it. Damn. I am so sorry. No problem. We'll just take it again. Wow, dude. Totally freaked me out. Oh, I scared the crap out of me, man. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> if oh, I may, I, I just have a quick word about the script. About the script? Uh, yes, as my character is rather complex, I want to make sure I'm conveying all facets of his psychology. So, I ask myself whether this hatred that is consuming him isn't emanating from... You know what? Don't change a thing. You were great. Okay, everybody, let's take it from where we left off, if you're all ready. Hey, hey, name's Maurice. Uh, How you doing? Uh, David, right, David well. Gant. First time in a video game? Uh, yes. Yeah, welcome to hell. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Oh, by the way, can we please turn down the pyrotechnic effects? They really came a bit close the last time. Uh, let's not risk a pointless accident. Okay, I'll tell the guys. All right, silence on the set. And we are rolling. By the seven seals of the war and the talismans of Rastatan, I invoke you, Astaroth, that lord of the last circle, by the... By the sacred power of the ancient gods, by all the spirit servants of Asmodan, by Allah! Cut, 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 sorry, there might have been a problem with the sound there. I thought there was something a bit off. Okay, we'll lose the sound effects for the moment, if that's all right. Yes, that's probably a good idea. Something wrong with the props, too. This reminds me of what happened to the two guys who played the role before you. Yeah. Spellbook, smack the first one right in the face. Bam! Three fractured vertebrae. Yeah. Second one, yeah, he, he uh, took the scepter right up his, <laughs> you know. They need to find the bug, is what I'm saying. It's getting hot in here. Aren't you uncomfortable under that mask? Mask? What mask? Okay, let's go again. <laughs> oh, my. And... Action! By the seven seals of the four, and the talismans of Rastatan, I'll break you, Ast- Ah! What's going on? Cut! Oh. Hey, Emily, <laughs> get me the programmers. Oh, oh. Hey, 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 Dave, don't worry about it. It's just a bug they tried to fix last week. Mm. Generates 2,984 clones of who? Moi! <laughs> Look at them, I'm so sexy. Look at that. Oh, man. Just ignore them. Don't worry about it. Give me the phone. Oh. Hey, look, I don't give a crap how you do it. Just get those freaking trolls off my set, now! Hey, 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 goblins, okay? Not trolls, goblins. Jesus, guys, they look good. <sighs> Last time, one of them bought a few cases of beer, you know? Got a little messy, but <laughs> what a party, you know what I'm saying? What a party. Mm. All mm. right, mm. looks good, they're mm. gone. Woo! <laughs> Personally, I thought it was a chance to class up the production a little bit, but, you know, who am I? What are you gonna do? Some people got no artistic vision! <laughs> Excuse me. Could I borrow your telephone for a moment? Oh, yeah, sure. Dave, don't munch up all my minutes, man, okay? <sighs> William! Yes, yes, it's David. Yes, I'm on the set right now. Tell me, these video game people, don't they seem a bit bizarre? <laughs> well, no, no, something funny is happening here. A funny strange, not funny ha-ha. Well, it's rather difficult to explain. Listen, I'm not entirely sure that you could... Yes, I know I signed a contract. But maybe we could... No, no, of course not. Hey, hey, no, hey come on. Yes, yes, well, maybe hey. I am overreacting. Yes, fine. Okay. I'll call you later. Promise? Yes! No. Everything's fine. Okay, we're ready. Let's go again from the same place, please. And... Action! Oh, great Astros, enter our dimension and deliver unto me my vengeance. Come, you must puzzle. No! Oh! Uh, hey, 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 same thing happened to Michael Jackson, man. You know, in that soft drink ad? <laughs> Congratulations, you just became a legend. I told you to be careful with your silly pyrotechnical activities. I'm so sorry. This is the first time it's ever happened. Right. 
So what do we do now? Uh, I would like to go back and try again from the same spot, if that's okay with you. Let's do it! Okay, silence on the set. We are rolling. Oh, great astronaut, enter our dimension and deliver unto me my vengeance. Master of all hells, the portal is open! Oh. Ah. <laughs> that was my entrance key, wasn't it? Bloody hell! I don't believe it! What? You Demon, yeah, that was your cue, but it'd be better if you entered through the portal of hell for continuity. Uh, oh, the portal of hell. <laughs> of course, I say, I'm such a Disney. <laughs> bad, bad demon, bad demon. I, I'll just take my, uh, yeah, my entrance. That'd be good. Let's do it again. I'm so sorry, darling. Really. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, we're going to start the whole incantation over now that everybody's in place. Well, the whole incantation? But I thought you had that covered. Uh, David, it's cool. Uh, don't worry. Everything's oh. working perfectly now. All right, this next take is the keeper, people, and action. By the seven seals of the horn, the talismans of Rastatan, I invoke you, Astaroth, Dark Lord of the Lost Circle, by the sacred power of the ancient gods, by all the spirit servants of Hathagam, by all the sacred parchments of Hashtu Maladi, appear! Oh, friends of Hades, the portal! as you are. I'm leaving. Continue your insanity without me. David, wait a sec. We're sorry, okay? Please don't go. How are we going to finish? I don't give a shit what you do. I'm getting the hell out of here. Be wow. Get her. Really? Great. I can't believe it. <sighs> well, guys, we've got to figure something out. What do you want us to do? Huh? I mean, look, without the sorcerer, this whole story doesn't make any sense, you know? It didn't make much sense with it, frankly. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Hell no. Don't even think about it, okay? Stop. He's perfect. Fred, call the costumer. I invoke you, Astaroth, the Lord of the Lost The Dark Soccer. Yeah! Oh, Prince of Hades, the portal is open! You have summoned me, mortal. I am your slave. Satan! Yes? You didn't think I was going to let you get away with this now, did you? I thought there was something a bit odd. Nothing but a usurper, you dark sorcerer. Time has come for me to send you back to the shadows from which you came. Bloody hell! I don't believe it! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Humanity fall to its knees. The hour of the Goblin of Darkness is finally at hand. Come on. 
Nicht schlecht gemacht. Powered by Quantic Green. Running in real time, real time on PlayStation 4. Okay, das war dann wohl eine Demo für die PlayStation 4. Wie die Grafik dazu mal später aussehen könnte. Und jetzt haben wir noch das Designpaket 14. Black Sun. Sieht sehr viel anders aus. Nathan Dawkins, 55 years old. Okay. Diese zwei Bilder haben wir zum Beispiel gar nicht gesehen. Da haben wir wohl was verpasst. Ansonsten sieht es eigentlich recht ähnlich aus. Zoe Apokalypse. Wer ist jetzt Zoe? Die haben wir wohl auch verpasst. Tuesday sagt mir jetzt auch nichts. Jody Alaska haben wir auch nicht gesehen. Jody und diese Kleidung haben wir auch nicht gesehen. Gut, da haben wir wohl einiges verpasst. Oder die anderen Enten, besser gesagt. Ja, und somit würde ich sagen, das war es erstmal mit den Bonusinhalten bei Beyond Two Souls. Beim nächsten Part werden wir uns die fortgeschrittenen Experimente anschauen. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss. I've been saying many things that are hurtful Your tears shed eyes Your fragile mind Cause I'll be dancing on my own tonight I know December's hard to call you lots of pain But I did not mean to let you down this way But I know deep inside I let your smile fade away I let your smile fade I remember when we used to lay on the grass and watch the sun.